Alexis and I help growth oriented people step out of their comfort zones and reach their goals. I upload twice a week, so if anything related to personal growth or business or personal development sounds interesting to you, please subscribe. So in this video, we're talking about how to create a digital vision board. So I'm gonna spend a chunk of my time explaining what types of things you wanna include on there and how big in scope you want them to be. And then we're also going to dive into what are the logistics of creating it when you create a digital vision board, what program I use, how I create the torn paper effect, you know, really getting into the nitty gritty logistics of how you actually go about creating. So by the end of this video, I hope that you have an amazing digital vision board that looks something like this. And I was so pumped about this. I was so jazzed on life. I made this vision board. I was so excited about it. And then that very day, I burned a hole in my car engine. I was stranded on the side of the freeway. Couldn't get the car home. Ended up pushing it into a parking lot. And I took it to a junkyard yesterday. One of my tenets is that I really want to be real with you guys all the time. And so I just want to be real with the fact that I'm not living my dream life. That I just took my car to a junkyard. And that there are lots of things about my life that I want to change. And that a lot of the goals that I have on my vision board right now are out of reach for me right now. They are very, very far out there. They are very far-fetched things. And that's exactly where I want you to be too. I don't care if you just took your car to a junkyard because you burned a hole in your engine like I did. <laughs> no matter what your life has been like this week, you are worthy of having an amazing life. And if you really set the intention that you wanna have an amazing life, you can get there. So we're on, we're on this road together. So we're all trying to get better versions of our lives. So a vision board is just that. It's just an inspiration and it's a reminder of the kind of life that you want. And I think for different types of people, different types of things need to be on there. So some people are workaholics and they have a hard time scheduling in fun and that is what they need on that's what they need on their board that's the kind of person I am some people are all about the fun and they never seem to be getting any work done and so the work things are what needs to be on there so you need to think about the kind of life that you live and the kind of life that you want so take a look at where you are now take a look at where you want to be and what are the things that are going to bridge a to b so step one to actually creating the vision board step one is to figuring out what do you want out of life? What is your dream life? And you need to figure out what do you want your house to look like and your job to look like and your family to look like? What do you want your free time to look like? And just really have a fun time brainstorming all those things of what you want your life to look like. Another thing that was helpful for me in this is that I have a list that's the aspects of my life. So I use this for my monthly planning and I do have a video about how I design my life and my monthly planning system. So on that list, I have the different aspects of my life. So I have events that I'll go to, different people groups that I'm around. I have my, I have my job, I have my hobbies. So that's the first place that I went as I looked at my aspects aspects of my life and I thought what are some goals maybe that I have in these aspects of my life. Another great spot is to look at all the ullies, you know what I mean? So look at your goals that you have spiritually, socially, physically, emotionally, mentally, academically, they're slightly different, mentally, academically, uh, nutritionally, environmentally, like your home, occupationally, and recreationally. So those are some different things to think about. Think of all the always. You know, what goals do you have in those areas? And I'm sure we all have ways in all of those areas we want to improve, but really just try to limit it maybe down to five, five core goals, like maybe between five to eight core goals that you want, and then you can have different images that are related to those certain things. And then just those kind of extra things, I added in books that I want to read, places I want to travel, things that you're passionate about, maybe your routines, maybe there's a routine you want to adopt, life goals, fun, all your wants. But the number one thing that you need to make sure that you have on there are fulfilling things. What sorts of things fulfill you? And I think that is the number one thing that you need to make sure that you include and really try to craft it around that statement. What is fulfilling to you? Do not sell yourself short. If you want it, there's a reason and it's not going to go away by you stuffing it down and avoiding that desire that you have in your heart. It's not necessarily your big lifelong goal because I don't think we have one goal. It's like our heart's tugging us one way so we go that way for a while and then it tugs us a different way so we go that way and if you just keep listening to the tug of your heart and you just keep going and following these nudges that you want to go on I think that's how you reach your lifelong calling just by kind of following that path and so I think if things are really like nudging on your heart it's either there for you to experiment and then it'll teach you that you don't like that thing or you'll go down that path and you'll really like it so if you have this desire of your heart I really encourage you to fully go after it and not sell yourself short because that desire is not going away anytime soon and you won't regret the risk of stepping out but what you will regret is not stepping out at all so put your real dreams on there not your watered down dreams we're not going through the trouble of creating this vision board so you can water down your dreams and put watered down dreams on your vision board put your true actual dreams dreams that you are embarrassed to put on there because they're so big and if you're embarrassed to put it on there that's how you know that it's big enough okay so after you've made the list that you want and it's included all the aspects of your life you're gonna go on Pinterest and you're just gonna find some images that you feel like resonate with you so find images that inspire you for for whatever reason maybe they're not even directly related to your goals but for whatever reason the aesthetic inspires you or what the person is doing or the way they're doing it or the way a picture is taken it inspires you in some way and it inspires you to be more creative and it inspires you to step out and it inspires you to take risks so really just have fun I mean this is the fun part is finding all the images so just go ahead and find these images save them to your computer you can save them to your desktop to your downloads whatever is easiest for you and once you have all those images now it's 
finally time to make the collage. So what I use is Canva. So you just go into Canva and you need to type in the resolution that you want it to be. So like iPad screens, laptops, phones, they all have different resolutions. So go ahead and Google your phone's resolution. So I have an iPhone 6S. <laughs> super old. I just googled iPhone 6s resolution and then I went ahead and typed that into Canva. So it's super easy so that was all set up for me. So from there I just uploaded the pictures into Canva and then I just started dragging and dropping them until they were kind of a collage that made sense to me. One thing that I really like about physical vision boards is that they have kind of this torn effect. So luckily Canva has this frame. They have a few different types of picture frames. You can get circular frames, rectangular frames, but one of the types of frames they have is a torn picture frame. So you can actually go on there and you can drag the picture into that torn frame and then it makes the image look, look a little torn. So that's what I did with mine and I thought it, I thought it really gave it kind of like an aesthetic look. And then once you have all the images set up, you really need to think about what emotions you want to feel. So you've got all the inspiring images on there, but then you want to think about like, okay, if I accomplished all this, what emotions would I be feeling? And I find it helpful to look at a list of emotions words, you know, it's kind of hard for me to just think of them, but just go through and find maybe three emotions or ways that you would feel, or maybe some nouns that maybe describe how you feel. Maybe you have a word for the year. And then once you have all the images, put those like three words or whatever you have, quotes, the inspiring words, go ahead and put those on top of it. So by the end, you should have a really inspiring collage of images that really resonate with you. And then also some emotions and feelings and quotes and words that inspire you. And then from there, you just go ahead and download the design and then you can email it to yourself, airdrop it to yourself, however you want it to be, and then set it as your wallpaper. And then it's just a reminder for you to see every day. One thing that I found as I made this was that as soon as I made it, I found myself getting a little bit embarrassed actually, because it was on my phone. And so people would see it, you know, if I opened my phone or if I checked a notification, it would be right there on display for everyone to see. And I found it a little embarrassing. I found myself hiding it. I didn't want to show people and I was really analyzing why I did that and I think it's because I don't find myself to be worthy of the goals I'm putting out there I think people will think that these goals are unrealistic or that I'm not capable of doing it which no one has in fact said that but that's just me projecting that onto people so I'm hiding my goals from them because I don't want them to see that I'm dreaming so big I don't want them to reject me and then I don't want to reject myself and so you know if they see it that it might not seem realistic to them. And if that's the case, that's great. That means that you are dreaming big enough and that means you're actually going after your legitimate dreams. It means you're not selling out. If they seem unrealistic to other people, that's how you know you're setting them high enough. Sure, it might be too big to accomplish in one year. Most people usually overestimate what they can accomplish in a year, but they underestimate what they can do in 10 years. I've heard that quote before. These are the long game goals and it might not be realistic within this year, but you can do it in 10 years if you're just willing to get up every time you get knocked down and to really pursue your real dreams. But I've actually found that when I tell people what I'm doing, when I tell people that I'm YouTubing, They've all been so encouraging. For some reason that was surprising to me. I was surprised that people thought it was great that I was doing this. I think if you just, you know, let people see your lock screen, I think that they'll actually be more supportive than we think. And I think that we're actually our biggest critics. And then as a plus since it's on my phone, every time I go on my phone and I'm just gonna like binge social media for no good reason, it actually reminds me what I really want to be doing in my life because binging social media is guaranteed not actually on my vision board. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, give it a like. Um, I do wanna get to know you guys because the most I'm getting to know you guys is in the comments. So my Instagram handle is in my YouTube banner. So if you guys want to zoom or something, you know, like I won't charge you or anything. I really just want to get to know you guys. So if you want to hit me up, send me an Instagram DM and then we'll make it happen so I can get to know some of you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.